It's recording. Well, where are we, Mike? We're in, in my not north of Florida right now, Sean. <laughs> what the heck are we doing over here? I thought we were supposed to go to Oregon. <laughs> yeah, I thought that too. But we still have a ways to go yet. Oh, yeah. It's only, what, 8.30 or 8.30 in the morning? Yep, according to your, according to your Back to the Future watch there. Yeah, maybe <laughs> to your imaginary watch. Like, yeah, well. uh, 8 30, 30, 30. Uh, I don't, yeah, not, my watch is not working. <laughs> anyway, so, beautiful out here. Nice little, can't say little city because it looks like it's huge here. The sun's so bright, it's hard to see. So, we'll look this way. <laughs> well, a nice train though. How you enjoyed your ride, first train ride anyway? Uh, Are you wide awake now, or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sleeping sucks, but whatever. Yeah. Oh well. Amtrak. I love it. So anyway, so where are we going next? Mr. GPS over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know where we're at. I have no idea where we're going to end up next, so I guess that's the big question. Again. I guess we'll be surprised. We'll be in Montana sooner than we know, but... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, don't worry, they won't leave without us. But anyway, so, hope you're having fun, Mike, anyway. I will. <laughs> so, our doc better you now. Yep. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show other people think like I think. I want to this <laughs> Yeah, you go right ahead. That's no problem. I can't believe how nice these hills are. <laughs> I was trying to get that guy to film and then he ran away. It was very funny. Like, I wonder if we can survive over here. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Can't believe this is actually happening, but it's, it's, it's real, you know. It's no fake documentary here. We're not in Strathcona or whatever anymore. <laughs> We're not in Salem anymore either. <laughs> not in your backyard anymore. <laughs> But we're up a big hill that's full of sand and dirt and everything. Wonder if you could take a John Deere lawnmower. <laughs> ah, this is beautiful. As Greg Valentine would say, beautiful. That. Oh, the sun. Oh, the sun. Ah, praise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. Well, which way are we going? We're going that way. Are you sure? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I trust you. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go! Sure this is the right one though, and we're on the right side. Oops. Possibly it is, okay. Yeah, I think we might be in the wrong one though. I think we have to go back yeah, I think over there. Go that way. It looks like this is all for Seattle and Spokane and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Oops. It's okay. We're just making friends say hi to everybody. Have a seat. <laughs> I feel like white trash here. <laughs> This way, right? Yeah, we're going oh, okay, this way. Okay, okay. Okay, I figured we were going. We went the wrong way. Oh, how's it going, Mike? <laughs> so, what are we doing right now? We're just having a little lunch. Yep. Had some sandwiches and stuff. They didn't have no pizza or anything or anything fancy, so. <laughs> oh, well. The lady was pretty kind, she kept on saying please after. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're actually officially in Montana now. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's pretty nice out here. I, I'm sure eventually we'll get to Glacier National Park. Eventually. But, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just rolling along on the train track. <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to do today, but just, I guess, keep on riding. <laughs> yep. It's all we can do, probably. <clears throat> It's fun, you know, when we walk through the, uh, the hallway or whatever, or through the runway here, we walk like we're like drunk or hung over or whatever. Yeah. And we're not even hung over. Yeah. Although we knew somebody last night that was, but <laughs> that we hung out with, but we won't say who it was. <laughs> <laughs> she knows who she is. Anyway, just beautiful. Nice day outside. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, so how was your lunch then? Pretty good. Yeah? That mine was good too. I think we had the same thing. Except you had root beer and I had Pepsi. <laughs> or it could be Pepsi beer and root beer. I don't know. <laughs> root Pepsi. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so. Oh, well, give you a oh, yeah, See, that guy almost fell. He's almost drunk. <laughs> Although he probably could be, though. I don't know. <laughs> Meet a lot of crazy people when we're on the train, though. Well, that's what makes this trip interesting. You know? But, uh, yeah, so we'll talk more when we get somewhere in here. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> For now. Oh, we're here in Montana, then, Mike. Glasgow, Mon or Glasgow, Montana. We should stop at the Montana bar over here. <laughs> well, maybe our good friend Kat will probably go over there. <laughs> if she ever comes to Montana, which I don't think that will ever happen in our lifetime, anyway. The big radio tower. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's a pretty nice little town there. I know, it, I know, I see the McDonald's logo over here. So you know what that means. <laughs> hey, we need to go get an Angus powder. <laughs> Explain why that is. <laughs> well, we gotta keep this a little PG anyway. This is a documentary, however, and a, and a vlog for YouTube. Yeah, it looks pretty nice over here, that's for sure. So yeah, still having a good time. <laughs> Mike. Hey. Mike. Hey Mike, where are we? <laughs> I'm right here. So where are we? Hey, we are in Shelby, Montana right now. And what's there to do in Shelby, Montana? Do they got Walmart over here? <laughs> well, I know they got a Senex over here. Hey, so we can get some gas. <laughs> we can go get some pop. <laughs> and then... Well, let's see what else they got here. Yeah, it looks like they got a motel. Or something that just says Mo on it. <laughs> yeah. That could be anything. Yeah. This can't be our destination, is it? No, not okay. yet. <laughs> We're still headed to Astoria, aren't we? Yep. Because <laughs> the fans, you know, they, they want they want to see us at the Goonie House. They don't want to see us here. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not the road back to Shelby, Montana. <laughs> it's the road back to Astoria, Oregon. There. The yuppers. Well, should we go outside and get yeah. fresh air? Sure. <laughs> or as some people say, a fresh cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This way this time, okay. Watch step. Oh. You know, Mike says that's a, that's a natural or more better than a, a the smell of cigarette smoke. You know, on a 
on a Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> in the big city of Shelby, Montana. So what the heck is there to do over here? For anybody that doesn't know. It doesn't look like a whole lot. There's a, a Jancy Park and Seagull. Okay. Should we go should we go boogie on down? <laughs> Does anybody want to see us actually have rhythm at all? I don't know if I have much rhythm right now. No. <laughs> I know you you probably don't either. <laughs> Uh, what else? Singapore Incorporated Building Center. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. They got Mark's Tire Alignment over there. Uh, okay, I don't see that. Uh, we actually have an Amish person with it too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have it as a guest later or something. <laughs> yeah. Pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. So far, the trip has been. I think we've slept like four times already, you know, because yeah, we didn't really get much sleep, you know, on the way here. We were fools and we didn't sleep right away, you know, or we, we got we got to a train station too damn early. We could have slept for like four hours and I think we would have been just fine. But, yeah, we're idiots. Oh well, sue us. <laughs> or please don't, we don't have much for Well, he has lots of money, but I don't have money. <laughs> I barely could afford this trip, but hey, sometimes you gotta make it work with sacrifice, I guess. But, Oh, it's a beautiful day, and yeah, it's like hills and stuff. I feel like we're in the sound of music. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, well, we'll see where we are in the next destination. I have no idea. Right. I think soon it'll be Glacier National Park. Yeah, so I think so. I know you know a lot about that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you a little bit. <laughs> oh, we're really down. Holy moly. Imagine if we fell on their bike. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. So, Mike, where did you guys stay at when you when you were here? Any hey, of these hotels or anything like that? That looks like that over there, like cabin house, looks more like a lodge or something like that. <laughs> I'm just asking you where you were, where you, if you remember where you stayed when you when you were over here. <laughs> Oh, okay. I suppose it's been for what, four years or so? Yeah. yeah. Been a while. Well, at least it looks familiar to you. Glacier National Park and everything. <laughs> well, I think this is East Glacier, I think. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, anyway. Yummy there, Mike. <laughs> I figured I'd put the camera on you, you know, at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but at least this time we got some sleep in here, okay? so we're wide awake. Okay? We're, almost like, we're almost like bug eyed people. <laughs> Call us Robbie Danger Crew. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was chatting with my brother's girlfriend last night while we were in Spokane for a little bit. Yeah. I'm glad that we were able to do something with the internet, you know, because I was able to update. Well, you updated your Facebook and I updated mine. You know. 
kind of interesting anyway. I'm sure your dad will see your Facebook update when he gets home from work, I'm sure. Yeah, interesting country. See, look how big these caves are. Or these little... <laughs> That'd be fun to climb, go rock climbing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is probably another nice day in here, you know? Jimmy Hendrix, the Jimmy yeah. Hendrix way. Right? Not even, she didn't even restrain it, she just played okay. it backwards. So all of her notes, you can look her up on YouTube, Elizabeth Cotton. Yeah. Frey train, Frey train. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome, sorry. She's got this haggard old voice. Yeah. Like, well, you gotta start somewhere. Right? That's yeah, sure. that's the kind of, you know, music I studied in yeah. college. Um, that, Mississippi John Hurt. Um, the well, Reverend Gary the Blind. Reverend well, at least, it's, at least it's real music you kind of perform anyway. I mean... It's, yeah, it's all got a story. It's you all know, got roots. And, um, sometimes, people, you know, sometimes there's that. not enough real music around anymore. Too many Justin Bieber fans out there you know, with, with Bieber fever. Don't know about it. Yeah, exactly. They they are more concerned with Bieber, having Bieber fever, <laughs> like Mike has. No, he just has fever. <laughs> no, that feel great today. Cheery. What? Yeah, I feel great and cheery, like a 100% Tropicana juice. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all good.
<laughs> As I expected. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. so Photographer taking pictures of himself in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I went to set my camera down, and all of a sudden, like, wait a minute, it, it just got dark yeah. for a couple of seconds. I yeah, my camera. I was filming while that happened, and just like, well, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> I get a good shot or something, all of a sudden, it got dark. It's like, I hope my batteries didn't die. You know, there's no battery, it's just a lithium battery up here that's rechargeable, it's fully charged. So how many pictures have you taken so far? Thank you. How many pictures can that take hold? Oh wow. Well that seems like a lot. <laughs> I haven't really taken that really hardly any pictures. I've been just focusing more on video. But you already know that already, because I've already told you that already. <laughs> I tend to repeat myself a lot. <laughs> repeat and repeat, you know. Oh. <laughs> it just defeats purpose. Yeah, it's de yeah we, we come to defeat the purpose. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely nicer out here. Holy and Lord. ladies and gentlemen, this is Wish Ram. If Wish Ram is yours, stop, please. Make your way downstairs at this time. <laughs> is this the town where you have to make a wish? <laughs> <laughs> a wish gets granted? Dr. Spock. Yep. Well, Mike, we arrived. We're not in Australia yet, but we're in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the hell are we doing in the elevator? <laughs> outside. <laughs> oh, we're just going outside. Yep. Pretty much. Well, we definitely have arrived here at the Union Station. This looks exactly like it did back four years ago. Same color and everything. Yeah, definitely. So I ask you, Mike, you know, now that you've actually rode, ridden a train for the very first time in your entire life, what, I mean, are you, like, what feelings are you feeling right now? <laughs> I mean, how much did you enjoy it, and what did you enjoy, and, you know, I'm sure there's pros and cons, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought the train ride was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> but was it comfortable to sleep in now? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of had to... Sleep in the. I had to be like a hobo and sleep in the lounge car, and you know, kind of sleep Mike by himself in the, in the bed. <laughs> well, in, in the seat anyway. That was still wasn't that comfortable. The only way to be comfortable is if you and I were both midgets. You know? yeah. <laughs> That'd be the only way. Yeah. But we're not midgets, you know. It never will be, probably never. But we are here in the big city of Portland. I don't know if hey, you YouTubers actually live around here, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Very, very beautiful. It's like, uh, it's kind of like uh, looking out at the cities, kind of. Like, pretend like you're in Minneapolis right now. Oh, yeah. And over there, you know, you see that, that big hill up there? Yeah. That almost reminds me of what I, that's kind of like what Astoria, Oregon kind of looks like, kind of. Okay. Kind of. And this zoom kind of works pretty well, but it, it can only zoom so far. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, so we're here filming our documentary. I mean, the, the documentary just doesn't start when we go to Astoria. It started when we were on the freaking train. Yep. You know? So, we'll find some good things to... Well, I remember four years ago when I was here, and obviously I didn't have a camera then. I kind of walked this way a few times anyway when I, when I was here. and Never got mugged at all. <sighs> so I don't think we'll have to worry about that today. No. I'd be surprised. I really would be. 
or somebody say, hey, give me all your money. I don't have any money. <laughs> like, do you speak English? Uh, no. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll be all right. And last week they had their big Cinco de Mayo festival over here, which is like more, well, you see that over there? Yep. Rose Garden right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Rose Garden, that's where they shot Monday Night Raw here a while back. I think before, or, or, while well, The Rock was facing John Cena. Yeah. 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 That Rose Garden, and I think, uh, I'm trying to figure out which episode it was, because I know they did the whole rap, rap concert, rock concert, but I don't think that was in Portland here. But it was one of the episodes of Monday Night Raw that was filmed just recently. It was like after the whole Daytona 500 thing when John Cena was supposed to start the, or announce the race or whatever, or yeah. say, gentlemen, start your engines, but because of rain, that he couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Until they delayed it to Monday, and it was like too late. So yeah. they had to fly all the way from Daytona, Florida to Portland, Oregon over here just to go in that arena yep. <laughs> for Monday Night Raw. So, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what it is. The roof, anyway, it almost looks like the Alaris Center kind yeah, of the Grand Forks. So what do you think about this vacation so far? I mean, obviously the, you haven't seen the gist of it yet, but... <laughs> pretty exciting though, I'd say. Yeah, it is. So far, so good. I mean, it's everything that we, we planned it to be. And, yep. You know, a lot of planning, a lot of, a lot of talking, a lot of everything. Just for a week of this. We're almost like downtown Portland here, but... Uh, just gotta watch out for traffic. You can still get ran over in Portland. <laughs> they haven't. They don't have flying cars yet over here. <laughs> Although I would be surprised when they when the time comes. So. All right, there we go. But yeah, it's pretty nice around here. This is kind of the area that I walked around a lot when I was here. Oh, okay. Then. Thank you. When I when I was here four years ago, kind of the parts where there isn't so many people and we don't have to worry about so much stuff, and there was people here because fishing the fishing's opener just started not too long a few days ago, so I think as of Saturday. So don't be surprised if you see people fishing by this dock over here, because <laughs> you will you will see that I'm sure. Yeah, I will. Don't get ran over by the FedEx guy either. It, I had to film him just so we know who it would be that ran us over. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you ran over my camera, then, then I'd be screwed, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well. But, uh, yeah, I, I never thought we'd ever be here again. Or I never thought I'd ever be here. I never thought Mike would ever be here, but we are here. Yeah, we are. And <laughs> it's only going to get bigger and better. i tell you that much. Well, here's a side view of it, anyway. Right there. I told you we were close. Yep. Definitely close. That's kind of the kind of the side view, anyway, of what it looks like. Rose Garden here in Portland. But uh, look how nice this little river looks. Very nice. Very nice. The lake looks pretty calm. Yeah, and there is somebody fishing. This guy right here. Yep. If you're alive, give us a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us you're number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, very, very interesting, of course. And So, if we see anything else cool, if we go on the bridge maybe later or whatever, yes, that bridge way up there, <laughs> where the train is. <laughs> we'll definitely just have to show you guys, but... Till then, we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, here we are there. The Mike, Portland, Oregon. Big old lake, big old river. People running. <laughs> hey. People running with babies. Here are the dogs. 
People just like to run. Yeah. Where, where are they going? <laughs> I don't know. Beats where, where are they running to? <laughs> I mean, should we be concerned? <laughs> uh, should we start running to, to, to participate? Yeah, we could take off like front or Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Mike and I are just taking this all in because, you know, he's never been here before and I'm just kind of giving him the tour of kind of the area where I, you know, found anyway the last time I was here and uh, kind of made it my little adventure to kind of, I don't know, just occupy time, kill time this way, you know? Yeah. And we got lots of time to kill. We got about eight hours to kill, you know? So, I don't like killing anything, but, <laughs> let alone time, but yeah. whatever, you know? I should just use the excuse that Mike Rohn uses on the, on uh, Dirty Jobs. What can I do to slow the process down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yes, it's uh, very nice around here. It's kind of... <laughs> it's almost swallowed a bug. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was a live reaction there, folks. <laughs> I didn't plan that. Actually, it didn't happen. I almost swallowed a freaking bug. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> that's live. That's copy right there, folks. But uh, anyway, I'm just showing, kind of showing Mike around, kind of where I okay, quite slow time down or slow time. Pretty nice around here. Very nice. Oh. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, there's people running. We don't even know where they're running to or where they're running at. Or where are they going? Are they coming back? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much where I went. Up the stairs. All the way across. Well, not to the bridge, but just, you know, pretty much where everybody else is going. And then back. <laughs> and then we we're kind of getting close to Rose Garden too, because that's right there. Oh wow! Yeah, just right there. Kind of amazing. Oh, we have another guy run. This guy is right here. Wow, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I, I really never have. You gotta seen be talented to do that, I guess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, some people thought I was be crazy when I said this documentary is going to be five hours long, but I said that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, you know this ain't just your regular vlog, you know, that you know that I would do in, in Greenbush or in the back of Mike's backyard or whatever. This is a bigger thing than that. Yeah, it is. Something that we were planning. Holy moly! Is it an earthquake? <laughs> Seems like an earthquake, I don't know. <laughs> or a milkshake or something. <laughs> anyway, this is something bigger than anything else I've ever done because I've never put together something like this in my entire life, you know, let alone on YouTube. And I figure first, it's the first time for everything, you know, as they always say. Yeah. People say that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who, but some people do. But yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go. I guess we'll go up, okay. and then we'll go down. Or maybe we'll go down, and then we'll go up. What do you <laughs> want to do? <laughs> oh, well, we'll just go up. Go up? Yeah. Now, uh, is this stairways, or is this like a, like I think where you just like, uh, you know, step out here and you hope that oh, goes up? Oh, you mean like an escalator? Yeah. Or do we have to actually do the work and <laughs> walk, get our asses up here? <laughs> yeah. First thing we can Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that it'd be the easy way, like that elevator earlier, but... You know, I like to always the easy way out, but I guess I could lose a few pounds too, I suppose. <laughs> but ah, very nice. I guess nicer as we get up here. But yes, folks, we are here in Portland, Oregon, for a few hours anyway to kill some time, and then we'll be on the bus to Astoria, Oregon, where we're waiting. For, we've got a hotel. Hurry lined up. We'll be here for a week, or well, not a week, but a few days anyway. 
Wow. That was a workout. You know what that is, don't you? The, the, the railway thing? It's like a transit bus kind of thing. Uh, transit train kind of. Oh, wow. That they were talking about earlier. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, transit train. Just takes you wherever you want to go. But yeah, I mean, holy moly. Someone must have just built this bridge here because I don't remember being here last time I was here. We'll just go down. Yeah. But it's a beautiful city. Hey, UPS. What can Brown, what can Brown do for you? <laughs> A lot of people dress up like they're, they look like a piece of turd. <laughs> <laughs> now, I said I wasn't going to get too gross with this because, you know, I want people to, you know, there are certain people I want to, to see this, and I don't want them to think I'm a freaking retard just because, you know, <laughs> you know, I'll film a documentary and have a big head out of my shoulders because I don't have that. You know, like, you know, if I had a big head, I just I had big ears too or something. <laughs> <laughs> or big feet or something. Yeah. Or, Big nose. Well, I already got that too. But. <laughs> <laughs> so you got anything to say to your parents at all? For you, at least, got to say thank you to them for for letting you come with me anywhere. You know? Yeah. You know. You were too bad your brother could come with. You know. Yeah, I wish he could. I'm sure, he would love this. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he would. Yeah, he definitely would have. Definitely would have had a good time there, Cody. Yes, I'm talking to you, Cody. <laughs> Not you, Mike. Cody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Your twin brother. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, if you look over here, it's kind of like the back alleyway, kind of. I don't know if this is the same way that we came. I don't remember, remember but I think it kind of was, though. I mean, on the train, that is. I didn't film it, but. Yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah, so this is what's going on right now, and uh, we're just going to keep this documentary going. Um, we're going to do a lot of things in Astoria, a lot of things that most people have never done before. Plus, there's a big surprise coming, too. Sure. You know, Mike knows what it is. He looks surprised, like he doesn't know, but I can't say anything right now because, you know, that would ruin the surprise. <laughs> but he knows, and I know, so we'll be right back. I pretty much beat that whole entire game. Yeah, you probably got an HD now, probably. You got the old new advance on your little on your iPod there. <laughs> anyway, well, we're here at the dock, and yes, this dock kind of moves. It does bit. move, you know. You know, you have to dance around or nothing to make it move. It does move. It moves by itself. Very nice around here, though. I mean, this is as close to like any water that we've ever been to in a long, long time. train station, the Union Station, is right over there somewhere. Wherever you can see the bridge, anyway. Yeah, I can see Union Station over yeah, there. Yeah, I got resumed it over there. Pretty nice, I mean, and this isn't even half of it. I mean, this is just part of the city. I mean, it still goes for miles and miles and miles and, and miles and, and miles! <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like doing the whole CM Punk thing, you know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure it's been down here because they just had Ra over at you know at the Rose Garden right over here, this big dome here over here. Which we might go take a look if, you know, if we can. Maybe they're open, maybe we might get a tour maybe because I know remember the Ralph Inglis Arena? Well you never yeah, you never mind. That was myself and Brian. They did uh, tours. So maybe we, maybe we could go across there and see if they could give us a tour. Yeah. Would that be kinda cool? Yeah, it would be cool. So We'll see what we can do, and we'll let you guys know. <laughs> well, that's interesting that you picked a sports arena to come. Well, we're tour, we're a big WWE fans, so we knew that Monday Night Raw was uh, uh -huh. here a while back. Yes. So <laughs> I, I worked that event. I remember okay. it well. Yeah. With the Rock and everything. And <laughs> yeah, we didn't know how. You know, we didn't know what to really do, so we just kind of. Oh yeah, it just worked out. I just got done with the tour. Oh okay. <laughs> Well, hopefully we're not, you know, bothering, bothering you guys or anything. It won't be, it won't be the full Monty Garden okay. shirt. Okay. Sure. So this is the Rose Garden. Yep. All right. 
symmetry, nice and fancy. Oh, it's almost yeah. reminds us of some of the Alaris that are Grand Forks, kind of similar uh -huh. in size. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I've never been there, but yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of similar in size. Yeah, this is really fun. Yeah, come on into the bowl, and I'll talk to you a little bit about okay. it. Okay. I had to go, Mike. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Oh. Wow. All right. Looks bigger in person. So right now we're set up for hockey because we're okay. in the hockey playoffs. And sure. So we had a we had a big game last night. There were over ten thousand fans here last Jeez. night. So you can see we're all set up. We have another game here on Saturday night. I suppose it's televised and all that oh, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, because we're in the playoffs. So oh sure, sure. Time now. So anyway, this is our this is our arena. What happens is this ice actually stays on the floor all the time unless we have an uh -huh. event like monster trucks where oh, it needs sure. to come out. So what happens is we put a thing of insulation and then we can put the basketball floor directly on top of the ice. Okay. Okay. So um, what happens is our basketball floor is. 210 pieces, they each weigh 200 pounds, Jeez. and they're all numbering, it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. Uh -huh. So it's very common for us to have a hockey game one night and a basketball game the next. Sure. And so what happens is it takes about four hours for them to totally convert this from an ice hockey rink to a basketball course. Wow. Okay? So this is what we call um, our 100 level. The event level is the one that's down there where the ice is. And then all of these windows around, these are our suites. Okay. And we have 70 suites that are available here. They are all leased on a three to a seven year term by corporations, places. Um, the Trailblazers actually have two private seats, uh, suites, one on each okay. side of the event. And so anyway, this arena can be switched into um, concerts really easily. Yep. I was, on Tuesday night, I worked the Black Keys concert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were just here and there were like, I think there were about 10,000 people here for that too. So it's big. Where all of this area that's curtained up here, yeah, those are all seating too. Oh. So when we have the Blazer games going, there's over twenty thousand people that we can get in here for this event. That's crazy. Okay. So when we have concerts, um, the the scoreboard actually lifts up. Yeah. And we have all types of configurations. We can have center stage where they're right in the middle, and we can utilize the whole thing depending on how big they are. Or north stage where the stage is down on that end of it, and then there's only seating from here to here. Sure. Or we have a, what we call uh, the cloud theater, and we divide it in half lengthwise, so it's more of a um, a, a nicer setting for smaller okay. artists that just want one on one, you know. And that seats about five thousand people. Wow. Yeah. So we also have this is actually nine stories high. Um, public access only goes to eight. We have sky boxes up here, uh -huh. and then the next one is the catwalks, so that the the engineers oh, and sure. guys yeah. get up there to, to put in. I the suppose they gotta like update that. everything. Yeah. And they're always strapped in. You can see how high up that is, <laughs> and you see that box up there with the curtains on it. Uh -huh. That is Paul Allen's. Okay. He must be a big player or something. Or? Paul Allen is the owner. Paul okay, he's the owner. Okay. okay, he knows more about basketball he's than I do. <laughs> Co-founder co of Microsoft is Paul Allen. So oh wow! Very, very man. He owns the Trailblazers. He okay. owns this arena. Okay, so when he comes, I, from my understanding, he's only actually used that three times. He would have his mother use it once in a while when okay. they were in town. But he, um, that's his apartment. About 1,800 square feet. There's also a helipad, so when he comes, they can just bring him directly in the helicopter. And oh. then when he comes down, he has total, there's nobody on the elevator with him. It's total security. Yeah, so it takes about, when we have the Trailblazer game, which is are usually our biggest, you know, because yeah. it's a season. Sure. So we'll have, you know, uh, 20,000 people in here. How many games do we have a season? And it's our it's our biggest event. So a lot about it. It takes about 2,000 of us to sure. work that event. Okay, there's food service people, there's security people, there are us that are called guest services. Sure, we yeah. We're here to accompany people to their seats to make sure that everybody is behaving properly in a, in a mannerly fashion. That yeah. Aren't drunk. <laughs> yeah, know, so I suppose you get some oh, crazy yeah. fans, oh, sure, you know, sure. die hard, you yeah, know. Yeah, you do. So anyway, you know, but it just depends on what the event is and what's going oh, okay. on. okay. So this is our Rose Bowl, Rose Garden. Rose Garden. Rose Bowl. Rose yeah. Garden. <laughs> But uh, the NBA season was different this year, wasn't it? Yes, because they had a strike. Yeah, okay, so how'd that affect the arena over that here? That 
affected nationwide. That affected. I suppose it affected you guys' jobs. I suppose too. I suppose. Took two thousand people to run a game. Uh huh. That's how many games did we miss? That's that yep. just trickles down into the economy. So yeah, that was uh -huh. that affected you know arenas around. But did you like try and find other things to fill the the void? Yes, or? our our people that do that were just really really wonderful. There's oh, there seems like there's always something going on here. There's yep. a lot of restaurants, so a lot That's of a big uh, city. corporations <laughs> and stuff will will rent the restaurants and have employee meetings or oh, you know, sure. employee things. So there's all different types of venues that they could do that with here too. Wow. Yeah, so there's always something going on. It's quite a quiet day because there's nothing going on yeah. tonight. You know, but any time that you're in this building, there are maintenance people and food people and stuff going on behind the scenes. So what, do you know what WWE is going to come back at all? You know, I heard <laughs> June, but I'm not positive. Okay. I'm not positive about that. That just kind of sticks in my mind. But I, you know. Because I know they had the two pay-per-views over here, Unforgiven yes. 04 and yeah. No Mercy 08. I suppose it was jam-packed yeah. over here, too, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it was. Did they, let's see, when The Rock, the Rock was here last yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is like what February, because I know yeah. John Cena had to like he had to make a quick trip over here because uh, he was uh, supposed to call the Daytona 500 or whatnot, yeah. Yeah. and that uh, rained out, so he had to like hurry up and get a plane over here and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, when that's going on, you can imagine the the. the and do they yes, have their own crew the that takes care of their oh, work for you guys? Or? For instance, um, I worked the Coldplay concert not yeah. too long ago, and, and I got here early for a specific job, and I was talking to one of the people that are on the roadie. Okay. And I was watching them set it up because it's amazing. Yeah. The the truckloads. Of the big, arena, or big entrance and everything, too. And he told me that there were 80 people on their payroll that travel with them to all of these events. Yeah. And he says there's probably about 20 from here that work with them to get that set up because wow. the minute that they're done singing those radio roadies hit the ground running and they start yeah. packing that stuff up so when there's concerts going on here around the arena there's just huge massive truckloads just i suppose it gets pretty loud in here when they okay. let go of the pyro and everything oh, yeah. and oh, oh yeah. boy yeah. Yeah. yeah but we also have this acoustic cloud here. Oh, yeah. These tiles. Uh -huh. okay. So during a sports event the hard part of the tile is faced outward so that all okay. of the the clapping and the applauding yeah. and the yelling and stuff reflects down into here okay. and stays loud, you know, because we love that loudness. And so when they have a concert, they flip those over and they have softer so that it okay. absorbs the sound and acoustically it's better for concerts. You know, so there's lots of variations that they can do for that. Have you ever had, like, any big celebrity guests over here, like just in attendance at all? Uh, yeah, every once in a while. Um, every once in a while, yeah. And usually, you know, okay. they'll spot them and put them on the big screen. Oh, and sure. Say, yeah. It's nice to have friends <laughs> over here, yeah. Yeah, but Portland's a, a, a fun city. We're very yeah. logically minded, and, and uh, people like Portland. It's a very beautiful city. Yeah. Did, have you had the opportunity to explore well, a little bit? Well, I've been here before. I was here in 2004 uh, going to Astoria the same way I'm doing it now. It's just that I want to come back here just because uh, yeah, well, I want him to see what yeah. this is all about and everything. Yeah, and, yeah I mean, it's, it's a nice little city. We yeah. People seem to like to run or walk oh, and get a lot of exercise. Oh, yeah. We have, we have tremendous bicycle lanes. We're probably more progressive <laughs> about that than most You have any house shows, like uh, like uh, home and garden shows at all? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's all types of shows in here. There's also a lot of floating homes on our rivers. And our okay, lives. yeah. I actually live in a floating home. So really? Living right on the water is pretty wow. cool. You must get, you have a pretty cool job just being a tour guide. What else yeah. do you do? Well, I actually, I'm on, I'm also an usher, so when okay. there's, when there's um, any events going on, you know, yeah. we don't always know what we get to do. Yeah, um, but it's fun nevertheless. I mean, it is, because it's four or five hours max, and even if you're standing in a bar yeah. or escorting people or in an elevator. Sure. You know, I mean, it's fun because you get to talk to people and everybody's here to have fun. Yeah. And, you know, occasionally you have problems, but not, but very rarely. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's a very fun thing to do. Come on, and I'll show you really yeah. quickly the uh, ecology <laughs> thing they have going on. We are one of the first arenas to be uh, certified as a green oh. arena. Oh, oh, like a a environmental yes, stuff for us. Yes. Okay. Because all of our stuff, you can see our, our receptacles here. Yep. It's very specific. Anything that is produced here in food wise is recyclable. It's oh wow. Just, it's just how yeah, I suppose, yeah. Oh. You know, sometimes people will come in with plastic bags or something and that's yeah. why we have a landfill section. Sure. But our workers completely go through it. So anyway, oh, wow. it's just kind of we just put this in, you know, talking about our green. Uh -huh. This is really interesting over here. These are 
invite parking spaces. 80% of our waste is, is diverted from local okay. waste. 80%. That's huge. Wow. If you can imagine 20,000 people in here on the trash, that can yeah. create. Yeah. Now, does this help you guys save money, too, or save absolutely. costs? It, absolutely. It does on our costs, but also it's just kind of being environmentally aware and sure. careful of what we do. And we're one of the first arenas in the nation to go this route. Wow. We had to jump really big hoops. We had to make sure that we did X amount of percentages of all of this, and we were just able to put this in because we met all of that criteria. Did you get it recognized at all for it? Yes, I'm sure we have, but I, I'm not positive about that. But okay. I'm sure that we have because we're one of the first, we're one of the pioneers sure. who have done this for a first four Well, I figured like the president would announce, like, I hey. Know, <laughs> I know, but I'm, I'm very proud of this. I yeah. think this is really important structure. Well, it's called, you know, they said that we are trailblazers, so trailblazers is kind of yeah. like, you know, nature yeah. thing, more or less, yeah. you know, environment. Yeah. But, um, so they are totally renovating the trailblazer locker room, so I can't take you down there. Oh, that's fine. Got that under construction. We just want to see the arena. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That's pretty yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any questions? Is there anything I can answer Yeah, for Mike, you? go ahead. Yeah. Ask some questions if you have any. <laughs> Well, like, uh, like, uh, when, like the wrestling comes, like if Vince McMahon comes or whatever, does he have his own little sweet box too oh, yeah. or something? Oh well, uh. they're, yeah, they're, they, they're downstairs. We have an area where we have dressing rooms. Okay, those, sure. Those are very secure. You know, we have security guards down there that mind that they're down on the event level. And I suppose and they he comes with all of his. Yeah. Rooms. But yeah, I have, suppose they allow certain people to go backstage if they have like a certain ticket or something. There or? has to be. They have to have prior arrangements. It okay. Has to be okay, through that person, they make all of those arrangements. Sure. So what we try to do is just honor that. We're, no, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, just so do we it to just her. try to honor that. Uh, oh yeah. And, and accommodate them as much as we sure. can. Sure. You know, because lots of times. Uh, big stars will come and they yeah. have specific things. Oh, yeah. They have specific foods, and we just have to make sure that sure. We have those things. Sure. Make them all happy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Yeah, so anyway, you got to Portland on a beautiful day. Don't yeah. You? It's you? like 48 degrees, but it's not so bad. It actually feels no. a little warmer than that, yeah. probably because of the uh, lake or something, river. So, I have no idea. You guys are going to Astoria tonight? Yep. yep. Okay, yep. driving? No, take a, we'll wait for a bus. Oh. We're, well, we, it's all through Amtrak, uh -huh. and we're like, uh, they have like a bus package with our ticket, so it's already included, so cool. all we gotta do is wait till 6 o'clock, and, and since the time changed since we got here, yeah. see, we're used to Central Time, Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, we end up spending probably more than 31 hours on the train, and just... <laughs> yeah, well, cool, so you have until 6 o'clock tonight. Yeah, okay. is there anything, like, well, fun to do here, well, like, does that... Well, suggest we're... maybe you go down to the waterfront. Um, I'm I'm not sure if you need a cab, but the the Max system is out here, and it is our Portland's transportation system. Okay. You know, and so I'm sure you could go down there and look. In fact, um, yeah, it's right out this door. Okay. The south entrance. So you go out here. Yeah. And the Max system is right down here, and you can go down there and take a look at the schedules and see. But you know, going down to the waterfront is yep. just kind of a fun thing. There's a really nice park down sure. there. Sure. If you have time to go to Omsi which is a scientific thing, and it costs to get in there. But okay. You know, I mean, it's really, really a fun thing to see, oh. too. Does yeah. it normally cost for tours normally, uh, or, for, or for here? Well, uh, for, 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 for what well, you do? We just do, we take contributions, and we donate it to a children's Oh, okay. Here, it's, it's well, I was going to say, if you just did it free just for us, I mean, I was a little big thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the map system. Okay. Okay, so you can go down there and check out their schedules, but there's a convention center, and the water's right down here, and the water okay. the park isn't too far. I might even be within walking distance. I'm not yeah. Sure because I get turned around in here. Oh yeah. You know, but you know, and those are just fun things. You go to the downtown area. Sure. There's, there's just unique stores down there, and okay. Just, just always something to do, huh? Always something. To do. <laughs> what do you like to do when you uh, perform? Uh, well, I, I love. It's on the weekends. I love going to the market. They have a farmers market. Okay. You know, and that's fun, but that's only on. Do they got a big Sunday. movie theater all around here? Um, I'm sure there is. <laughs> In 3D, <laughs> see yeah. the Avengers movie. Yeah, I, I think at Omsi, at okay. Omsi down there on that area, I think that they have a big, you know, sure. big thing down there, so you might check that wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate so, it. You know, thanks for. You know, thank you so much. Oh, the other <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Yeah. Well, thank you very you much. You're very welcome. Thanks for yep. coming. Yep. So there you go, Mike. <laughs> We got to go inside the Rose Garden Arena. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So now the next time they have a WWE event, you can say, hey, I've been inside there before. Yeah. And I drank the Fisher Man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was her name again? The Rose or... 
Gotcha. I guess I'll have to look back in the footage. Yeah. But uh, there you go, guys. You know, a special. I told you this documentary was just going to be about us doing stuff, but we're going to show throw a bunch of surprises your way throughout this whole documentary. So it's worth keeping up to date or keeping watching this because you never know what you might find. You know, this ain't just your ordinary movie. You know? yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it'd be rated, but uh, F U N fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're going to try to find something else fun to do while we're waiting for the bus to come, and if nothing else comes, uh, well, the documentary continues, so we're on the road back to Astoria, Oregon. Mike and myself, yep, have a hell of a time here in Portland. Rock on. <laughs> and the sky is like cloudy over okay. there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I was gonna see what this is, but a little bit just left and stuff here. Okay. Oh, well, we're still in Portland. You know, yeah. We decided that we're just gonna stay here and, <laughs> and never come back to our actual homes. <laughs> Only we wish. No. We weren't scared of bikes folks like this. No. <laughs> but hey, if they came to come get them, you know, it'd be a good vacation. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, look at how nice this is. Wow. This is something that Rose will need too. Yeah. And they can yeah, easily definitely. build it if they wanted to, right? In the, right in that nice, like right in town where they're nice, like right in Main Street or something, you know? Yeah, they should. Or at the big park or whatever with the yeah. guy. Oh, this is beautiful. So, Mike, do you know what this is? <laughs> it's a waterfall. Yeah, waterfall. You feel like you're in New York City? Yeah. Gonna make case for powder stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all this. Yeah, hey, cool. Woofy. <laughs> oh, he's enjoying it. I dare you go run through there. <laughs> no. I'll give you five dollars. <laughs> I'll give you everything I have. <laughs> well, you try running through that. I no. <laughs> I, I would I'd have an accident <laughs> before yeah. I went in. <laughs> no. Oh, this is nice. I mean, we'll go. We can go both here. I think it like goes higher up as you get closer or something. Or... This is nice though. <coughs> Oh he's, oh, he's really enjoying it. Aww. He's be like, hey puppy, come here. Come here, I got a bone for you. <laughs> Give a dog a bone. Aww. He likes it. Well, this is pretty nice. I mean, this is that, what's called Waterfront Park, I believe. Yeah. That, that tour lady was talking about. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. Our uh, dog's looking like he's having a good time. <laughs> he's doing it the way that somebody we know would would uh, release water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we won't say who. Yeah. Oh, the puppy. Oh. Oh, he's trying to drink the water. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's like a fire station over there. Yeah. The fire truck. Yeah, it's very nice over here. It's a nice day. The weather's gotten a little warmer anyway. It's not too terribly bad, I don't think. It's not too windy out either. But, uh... Yeah. Very nice. We're just taking a walk by a waterfront park. And it's just... Well, you can't really see the beauty right over here, but... You know what we're talking about. You've seen it already. <laughs> Everybody else has it, so... Well, anyway, the next time you see us on our camera, we'll be, uh, we're going to be on the bus. So this is our last shot of Portland for right now until we come back on Sunday. So we'll be back on the bus okay. as we finally head to Astoria, Oregon. Because I know that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right.